I got some shit here last time. This is where we got all kinds of shit last time. Okay. Y'all oh, dropped the door on me. I'm sorry. Don't let this shot on me again. Out. <laughs> Oh, huh? Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck. Whoa. Hold on. Fuck. Where are we at? Tell them. Tell the people where we're at. Well, we're still at O'Hare Airport, but we're in Chicago, Illinois, y'all. No, but we gotta go find the thing. We got Yeah, they switched right it up on us. Yeah. All right, go. Let's go. I mean, this is our little boy. We are in the city, guys. I got the crumbsies. <laughs> Don't say that. They're gonna flag our channel. You know YouTube's doing that new thing thing. We um we in fucking Wicker Park. Uh you know, we about to I don't even know if I should tell y'all. This is some shit that I've been going to since I was fucking 18 years old. I got a little strip down here. I already said the destiny. Look how white this dude is right here. Look how pale he is. Well this that's why he's running without a sh dude, <laughs> shirt on. Him. I don't think you get a tan. It's raining outside. The Dude, Hollywood some grill, sun is better than Hollywood no sun grill, for man. him. Wait, hold on. Jeez. Here we are. Where are we at? I'm fucking telling them. Well, I'm about to. So don't show them the outside. Okay, go ahead. Show them. Don't show them oh, inside. Just, just fucking show them. I mean, the signs just are everywhere. Show just fucking show them. You, you guys got to read it because we're not going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> nah. We're Why done. I'm not then even. They'll never know because the episode will never drop. Oh yeah, because there won't cool. be any more Kiki to edit. No, I'll edit. Ah! Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. Why did you take me off the curb oh, then? Oh, oh, oh. You look like a right I do look like a YouTuber right now because I'm trying to YouTube this channel. <sighs> All right, let's get inside. Daddy. up the stairs. This is where Blake's at. I found a little vintage sweater. Let's see what Blake's got. bunch of bowl shirts a lot of uh fucking bear shirts <laughs> some like 90s vintage -ish. Out for you. it's real tight a lot of sports but it's like <coughs> how you much got sports? documented it good 
I got to get a little okay. scared over. A lot of vintage but sports. How but much sports can we possibly have without being a sports we have specialty a lot. We have a lot. spot? You know what I mean? Like, we got to keep it somewhat curated. You're right, Kiki. All right, so, let's go to the next location. Where are we at? We're at... It's a thrift store. Yeah, but family, th family, 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 thrift. family thrift. 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 Family thrift. Film the background. They're on the train. That's track. what I was trying to show them. We got the train tracks. Boom. Okay. <laughs> this is a thrift store. We're gonna go get up in that. Let's go. <laughs> you got mask. Cover your mouth when you cough. Mascarilla. All right. I got some shit here last time. This is where we got all kinds of shit last time. Okay. Y'all dropped sorry. the door on me. I'm sorry. No, on camera. Look at that mullet. Wait, this isn't the place Hold on, look at that mullet. It looks looking good today, babe. I know, I know, I know. Oh, damn. Let me see that ass. Oh, you just hit me at the door. Ah. Shut up. We ah, did so much better. I'm exacerbated. We did so much better at these spots last time, babe. No, we didn't get shit to we got Maybe spot. our episode did so well online that everybody came. And I feel like they shopped everything that we were, you know? What do you think? I don't think so because this episode hasn't seen nothing yet. You hear that? Mark my words, mother. Fuckers. Kiki, where's the card at? MFers. Need... You know, I think I'm gonna get higher. The higher I get, the better I find shit. Alright, where's the Roscoe? I was gonna thrift some vintage today. And then I got high. Alright. <sighs> just parked the car, walking around town with Blake. The village discount outlet is the other way, baby love. <laughs> Let's go. You don't remember, babe? It's been too long since you've been here. I remember. You know, I remember because we were walking right here and we walked this way and we were like, wow, there was a camera crew right here. And we were like, wow, what is this place? And they were like, was it Roscoe Village? Remember? Right here, this yeah, guy. I remember. And we were like, wow, people are so friendly here. Do you guys remember? Let's show them the recap. All right, you guys, we found it. The village discount outlet off Roscoe. So, fingers crossed, we'll get something. Um, what, baby? Where do they call this neighborhood? Roscoe Village. Roscoe Village, thank, thank you. you. It's tight. It's pretty People cute. Nice here. Super nice here, friendly. Everything's clean. I like it. I and mean, it's only like 10 minutes from Milwaukee, huh? Look, there's a little camera crew on the corner about to film something. Cute, cute. Huh? Yeah, we are. No, that's what we're going to do. First time down there, that's what we're going to do. After I go meet with what's it going to say? Shit, don't put that on camera. Give him a mask, gorilla. Huh. Which right. way? Which door? This one. I don't know. Don't let this shot on me again out. <laughs> Look, they have the neck thing. Oh, that's not for you. Oh, well, you want? Oh, uh, not that one. And ye old, huh? How you doing? Good, how are you? What'd you come up on, Blake? Blank for Blake Banks Incorporated. You lost your mask, Blake Banks Incorporated. Okay, we got another village discount. Hey, boom, boom, boom. Check it out, check it out. So say your stuff isn't selling, right? I got advice for you. You can... Get a shot. Come on, come on in. Come on, come on, stay right there. Stay right there, stay right there. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Have a good day, ma'am. Thank you, baby. We got yellow, green, blue. Check this out. Blake wants to tell you guys. 
We are at the last village discount on the list. The last. I want to tell you we're at a cemetery behind us right here. That shit is tight with right, the big hedge tones. Blake's gonna make me jaywalk again. Pray for me. We're about to go into the valley. Village. What is it called? Village discount okay. outlet. Look, here they are. Cars. What do we got here? Woo! Let's see. Let's see how long a lot of food has been going on. Is this a line? And then um, we have like the, yeah, I think you have seen that. Do you want like anything else like other than that? Go. Here we are at Old Faithful. Now, Kiki. Where are we at? You're, this is where you're finding. But where is that? We're at Salvation Army in Iowa. Okay. Some people don't know. Sometimes this is their first time. Some people ain't been here before, Blake. I'll do this for the first time. We shut the fuck. We do it for everybody. I just fed you. Be nice. You just fed me. <gasps> All right, Blake, where are we pulling up at? My man Waltz. Now, I've known Walt since I was yay high. Since I was a baby damn near. So, we're going to go check in on my man Walt. He owns Great Value Antiques. And True Value. True Value Antiques. And, and he's about to let us in on a Sunday. On a Sunday when they're closed, we're going to rummage. Because Blake's kind of like that. Good old true value antiques, you guys. Hey, baby. What's going on? Hey, little baby. Good. Good. Hi, Judy. Good to see you. How's Kiki? Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. She's still with you, huh? Can you believe that? Right? Yeah. Walt hooked it up. Super hooked it up. Look at this, my cute little bracelet, my new bracelet. So good. We got a nice little, show them a little envelope. Envelope full of little jewelry, sterling, silver, Blake's Folly. We got some pins. They've got patches. They've got all kinds of glassware, all kinds of Where's kitchenware. My glass I left my glasses in there. No, you didn't, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, man. Because it says tent. Oh, damn. That's cool. You know, but um, I go 20 on that. Okay. And this says vampire. Okay, okay. And this is their Sturgis. What is Sturgis? 2015. I like the V jacket. Yeah, this is nice. So it goes 20 on that. The vampire. Mm -hmm. What's the vampire one? Who she got a big moose? I think, yeah, the vampire one. It was just like going on. What is it? I can't How'd you never tell us about your store over here? I thought you've been in here. No, we only came and saw you at Picker's Paradise. Oh. This is such a cool store. This is super yeah. cool. It says something on it, but I think it says like 90. Oh, but look. Yeah, what am I fighting? Oh, you, did, man. you refereed? Yeah. 
Oh man, this is awesome These are our friends. Challenge. These are our friends from Pickers Paradise. Yes. We didn't know. Remember? We didn't. We Recap. didn't know this was their stare. Recap. <laughs> yes. The king of England. Your poster. Yeah, yeah. Black. You know, it's yeah. original, but it's not tour. Right. But, yeah. So cool. Is, uh, Piccadilly Square. They made they made hats for the king and queen. Yeah. King of England, yeah. Huh. That's super tight. Man, let, let's see this. Show me the her. Show me the scorpions one again. Oh, that scorpion's rare. Yeah, right? that scorpion. Let me this see that one, one again. Yeah, Kiki, because you're not getting that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, I can't. Uh, I can't do that one for you today. We gotta take Grandpa out for lunch. Okay. If you got it next time. Let me see the back. Let me see the back. Sure. Look at the back. I'll Somebody needs to come get this for sure. Because if you don't come get this, I'm getting it. Civil War boots. Look at How that. heavy? Like a pound? Like thirty. Pick them up. They feel like a, they feel like an infant. This, this is like what, like five pounds? It's smaller than a bag of potatoes, but they're weighted with the. Those are the real deal. I can't believe they. Do you hear that? That they wore uh -huh. them. Oh my gosh! That they were marching and fighting yes. in these. They yeah. were they're kicking so ass in these. We got some old Civil War clothing that's really cool. They okay. sink. They smell like three. They don't smell like you think the Civil War would smell like, but as bad as it sounds. Sure. They yeah. actually don't smell bad All for right, boots. I'm surprised. to me you want me to pay attention to you huh what do you have to say all right guys here we are it is monday morning and we are where baby in rockford illinois what are we doing in rockford uh, i gotta stop by the bubble hive and do an interview with rockford buzz about my upcoming tour the risky business tour which will be going on from november to december What's your first show gonna be? At the Raccoon Hotel, October 26th. Boom, in what city? Davenport, Iowa. And they can buy tickets where? Online, you just gotta Google it. Blakebanks.com. Yeah, and Blakebanks.com. Yep, you're right on that. Blakebanks.com. You that, you that right Blakebanks.com, you guys. So, um, that's basically how we're gonna end this episode, you guys. We're well, I think we're gonna hit some spots in Rockford, right? I mean, we're gonna try, you guys. I'm not gonna promise anything. We're getting to the end of things. Our flight is in a couple hours. What time? Like what? Six? Yeah, okay, I think we, get I think we, we gotta there. get out the airport at six. Or our okay, plane okay, leaves okay. at six. Something about we're six. An hour and thirty away from the airport. So it's like nine a.m. right now. We got a few hours to uh, do our thug dizzle. So uh, Blake's gonna do his interview. We're gonna visit the Bubble Hive, we're gonna show you around, and then we're gonna see where that takes us. So maybe you'll get lucky, maybe you won't, but you already know, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, of course. Subscribe if you haven't, you guys. This is the most important thing. We need you guys to subscribe because if you guys want more videos, that's how you let us know. That's that's what keeps us filming, right babe? Those subscriptions. Yeah. So go ahead and uh, do that. And then if you like what you see, you wanna buy something, go ahead and shop deadpeopleshit.com. Like, really we ain't really give them a good episode. This is a good episode. Look at my new favorite shirt, you guys. She got it. I uh, actually said I wasn't gonna get it. The, they hooked us up, you know. We got a good deal. So make sure to tag them right there. I'm gonna tag them right here where you can go get our, your good deals or good I friends. I feel like that's gonna be us when we get older. It could be. You said you were gonna buy me, you said you were gonna buy I'm me a little cool shop. Like, um, you make, I, I'm gonna teach you how to make cool hats. First, you're gonna get She's you a cool nice. hat. She's, She's like, super girl. nice. She's like, girl. And I was like, girl, let me help you with your yelp. I hear my We number. always see them at Pickers Paradise and they know we look for shirts, but they never. And we pulled up well, the Well, I think, shirts. I feel like they respect uh, our homie uh, Brian and they just kind of, we go to see him and then they're not like, hey. But, but they've always close, told us about I bought their... clothes from her before. Oh, you I, have bought, bought I bought skirts. I bought like vintage, like 60s skirts. I bought a scarf. Yeah. We always get a lot of pins. He's got a lot of cool stuff. They Civil always have War a lot stuff. of good he, pins. He always, and he patches. Me a, he showed me a GUN one. If time. you like Civil War stuff, you guys, you guys, you definitely 
Civil War gear, you guys. Muskets, bayonets, I don't I know, knives, bit. boots, hats, jackets. Civil War people, y'all. Them's your people right there. They, he's got like legit like stuff you would want that is rare. So, um, let's get into the next thing, you guys. It's time for your interview, baby love. Happy National Boyfriend's Day, by the way. Thank you. You're the Thank best you. boyfriend. Thank you. What are you going to get me today? I'm going to get you to your interview on time. And I'm driving. You know what? I got you something yesterday. Yeah. I got you a Atlanta Lincoln pin, a vintage Atlanta Lincoln pin. I oh, got it right here. Shout out, Walt. Shout out, Walt. Hey, Blake. I left my glasses there. Yeah, Walt, we're coming back. Look at this. This is what I got, Blake. So cute. Atlanta Lincoln, Illinois, USA. It's from, does it have a date stamp on it? Nope, but it was made in New York. And then this one too, we got him a little, he got a little Reagan pen. Who was president when I was born? Baby, do you have anything to tell them? Any significance about Rockford? Uh, I guess you could say I was a pioneer in Rockford hip hop. I stayed out in this area for about four or five years where I ran with the Covert Empire, Borgata Mob, and we brought acts like g Easy, just crazy shit to Rockford. And uh, I was living out here with uh, my manager in a basement on an air mattress. And uh, I have a lot of history and background in this town. It was known as one of the ninth most dangerous cities in America at one time. It's a pretty small town. At the same time, it has a lot of violence that feeds off of from Chicago and a lot of it trickles down to here to Rockford. If you don't remember seeing, you've seen The Shield or there was a show called Rockford Files. It's about <laughs> Rockford, Illinois. Um, but yeah, it's constantly in the news. I don't know if you saw, they just had a subway worker, a girl subway worker beat up an armed robber. You know what I'm saying? Flash that clip. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of history here, a lot of friends here. Shout out my homie Sean G. Um, this is somewhere I like come back to. It's kind of like Gotham, as you can see. It's always like this. This is what the weather's like here. It's just, it's got a vibe to it. Um, yeah, that really takes me back to riding around. I did a lot of things here, a lot of risky business. So, um, my homie Birdo, the ran Covert Empire, I came down here, uh, kind of clicked up with them and I was playing shows, I was like 18, getting into all these bars. And I've been all over this whole city, it's just crazy how much uh, history I have in this city. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, what bars have you played at? I played at Bar 3, Kryptonite, I shot uh, a lot of my earlier videos with uh, Birdo of the Covert Empire here, you know, and me and Chris Hare down on Broadway Street. I was living in a in a store window, you know, down in a really heavily uh, drug trafficked area, you know. It's really pretty weird that I was, but that's what I was on at that age, you know. I was doing willing to do anything to make it. I didn't give a fuck. It didn't you know? It didn't bother me at all. I feel like this is like a reflective therapy session. Can people still find those videos? Yeah, all those videos. Well, all right, look, this is a cheat code right here. You guys want to learn a lot about me. You can look up Black Lung, Covert Empire, Black Lung, Borgata Mob on YouTube. Black Lung's the name I used to go by. We started a lot of the earlier shit about popping pills and, uh, 
shit that is going on today with the kids, the lean and all that shit. We were doing that shit back in, uh, I'd say, 2008, when, when a lot of these kids were eight years old. You know what I mean now? Back when you were a kid their age? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, shit. We did, we the motherfucking godfathers, that shit, as far as I'm concerned, you know. And it's pretty much documented. You can go back and look at it on YouTube, Black Lung. God of Bob, Black Gun, Cobra Empire, you're gonna see a whole stream of videos. We was doing videos before a lot of these motherfuckers was even thinking to do vlogs and videos. And we were on the road just constantly moving around, touring with acts like Atmosphere and fucking random underground hip hop acts at that time. Who else have you toured with at that time? Uh, fucking G Easy, uh, fucking like Brother Ali, Mac Lethal. Just shit that was popular back then. A lot of people might not know about it now. Jurassic Five, <clears throat> um, you know, the game's changed a lot. Now, Tell me about the first time you performed in Rockford. The first time I performed in Rockford, it was at a, it was at like a fucking man. I can't. I, I let my nuts hang everywhere I go. So like, I pulled up by myself, and how I would pull up, I had a briefcase with all my CDs pre-done this is how i would roll when it from like 16 to like till i was like 20 you know what i'm saying i was pushing merch and all that shit i rolled like a motherfucking professional that's why i think a lot of these promoters fucked with me a lot of people fucked with me um i took myself very serious um but uh what were we talking about talking about you uh, oh your first show in rockford oh my first show in rockford was at this like fucking hall and shit my first fucks with it and uh, that's kind of how everybody started, like, everybody in the covert clique kind of, like, was like, all right, we're going to fucking let this dude uh, in or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, at that point, I was kind of, like, the biggest artist that was in their clique, you know what I mean? So, um, I got down with them, and then me and Birdo just fucking started working together. And Birdo, you see a lot on the dead people shit. I still hang out with him, like, <laughs> he lives back here, but he lives still in Rockford. But I hang out with him like once a week. We were just down in Atlanta. I was just with him. Uh, so I'm always with him, you know. So the Covert Empire still fuck with you. Borgata Mob still fuck with you. Yeah, I mean, everybody I rock with is about, I've known for about 10 years. I, you know, I don't got a lot of new people. I don't like, you know what I mean? Not a lot of new people in my circle. You know, even Kiki, I've known her as. She booked my first show. That's my girlfriend. She booked my first show probably about eight. 10 years ago almost, I don't know, 8, 6, 7 years ago, but, you know, everybody that I rock with, I've known for quite some time, and I like to keep my circle small and uh, a real close-knit team, and loyalty, you know what I'm saying, that's important, I guess. There's been a lot of buzz in the news about you expanding your team with a lot of young artists and talent as far as media goes. Yeah, um, I've been working with new videographers. Uh, I'm working with this dude, uh, Narlos Wright, from uh, Death Proof, um, in my new video for Small Dark Town, and uh, i just been working with younger artists, this uh, other kid that I got doing some, we got the Risky Business album coming, I got some crazy artwork coming out for that, and like my necklaces, and we're working on more tangible products, constantly being innovative and coming up with new shit for you guys, you know. You have a lot of new merch out now. I do have a lot of merch out. You're right. They should buy it on bluebanks.com. And where are we headed right now in Rockford? Right now we're headed to the Bubble Hive. I'm going to do an interview with the Rockford Buzz about my show at the Raccoon Motel October 26th in Davenport, Iowa. And what's the Bubble Hive? The Bubble Hive is a smoke shop owned by my homies Todd and Chris Hare, you know. They are expanding. They got different locations popping up, but they're basically a, a head shop. But they don't. They're just not just only a head shop. They spell premium glass, um, kratom, all types of just cool shit that the average uh, stoner smoker or uh, you don't even have to be a smoker. They have shit for non smoker They have edible shit in there. So it's just uh, something you'd want to check out if you came to the Rockford area, Chicagoland area. Yeah, definitely. If you're a smoker. And how are they affiliated with the Risky Business Tour? They're sponsoring multiple dates on the um, Risky Business Tour. All right, let's go. We got it. Uh, Salvation Army, you guys. That's the next stop. Let's get up Birdo, in. Birdo, I'm in your territory. 
We're gonna try to I'm get it. I'm about to fuck it up, bro. I'm about to. I'm about to you sleep, it. but you sleep because you ain't hit me, you bro. You didn't hit us up, bro. You ain't hit me, bro. We ain't seen you since Atlanta, bro. Right, so bro. we're gonna go get it, bro. Hold the door for me, yo. Rock forward. I gotta stick close to you, man. You've been dropping the door on me lately. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Blake Banks. I'm at the Bubble Hive. The official sponsor is the Risky Business Tour. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep calm and get blown. All right. We got some glass for that ass right there. Now this isn't your ordinary glass. This is made by highly favored artesian artists from across the country. Look at that. I like these over here. Look at these. Ooh, look at that one. That one's got tits. You know what I mean? I'm a sucker for some, for some tits. All right. More of this. Crystal. What are these? CBD sour gummy bears. You eat a whole thing of those? Holler at me. We got some CBD cream. You know what you can use that for? Right here. Have you ever done Kratom? Was that magnesium? Red Malay? Holy shit. There's a weed right here. Ooh, what a what a deal. They got deals in here. Puffco carbs, $20 caps. Make sure to follow the bubble hive for all your smoking needs. And also make sure to follow blakebanks.com where we will have all the tour dates. And hey, there is a chance that if you come in the bubble hive and make a purchase, Blake Banks himself We'll cash you out. Have a good day. All right, we're shooting a commercial for the Bubble Hive, you guys. We're gonna be in it. Ready? It's almost like, I'll do it, I'll do it, one take two. I got an idea. I got an idea. You really, I'm banging this out one take wonder me. Go for it. Party's here! Hey, thanks for hey, me. Hey, yeah, I stopped in to get some stuff. What up? What up? I hey, stopped in to get some stuff to tour. We got some new stuff. Oh, yeah. Only at the bubble. Of course. Look at this. Check it. this out, oh, dead man. people. Shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you looking for a rig or what? You guys got your ID. Did you bring an ID? Man. And we have a YouTube channel, Dead People Shit, where we go and find vintage. I'll go in Thailand, I'll go in Bali, and I'll go in a small village, and I'm finding the stuff that we sent over there from America. And I'm finding the good stuff that they're paying top dollar for, and I'm selling it in Hollywood. Yeah. And we show how it's done. We just got back from Guatemala, like I told you, you know? Right. So, and it's cool because I'm able to do it while I do my music. Like today in town, I'll be able to hit a Salvation Army, link up with all, and make an episode. So I'm feeling super right. important stuff. Essentially, right. So yeah, it, and it's all art and it's all fashion and it all goes together. So that and doing what I love is that's what I do. You know, very cool, yeah. man. Well, you kind of segue perfectly. You said your YouTube channel is online. Like, where are all the places that people can go to hey, follow Blade you Banks, for your music as yeah, well as BladeBanks.com is a one-stop shop. We're gonna you're gonna have the links to my Spotify, Apple Music, and everything. I'm available on all platforms, YouTube. So BladeBanks.com is where you want to go to buy my music. Now for the fashion and the uh, the yeah, vintage deadpeopleshit.com. So we make it Perfect. real simple for you. Nice. And you have links to like all your social and all yep. that. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Very cool. Yes. Super cool. Look nice. at this. This is uh, yeah, they have they have art from yeah, rocker and artists. On YouTube mm -hmm. and we push it through all the yeah, this, this is all made of This is crazy. Let me see. And this I know Dan Mormon. You know what? Maybe. I know him. We have this is really dope. Doom thing. And also we got. Oh shit. Check it out. Check it out. Trey Skrilla. I see a lot of people I know who's art in here. Oh, look at these. Just in time for... Just in time for winter. 
Come yeah, get, I usually, get your little muscles. like the, our first. <laughs> the beanie, bye-bye beanie. Oh, look at this. Kind of solidify what this version my style. one of the format's gonna be. This is, yeah, gonna be this is time, risky business tour. Kind of that looks good. Just I know, that's what I was just thinking. And then just kind of get the announcement out. Yeah. yeah. We can like figure out logistics and stuff at that first meeting. Yeah. All right. And try to spend like two hours. Do we interview you? Two? Not this first one. Not you. Look at this. Like our intros, like our topic. We'll like make up a topic for this. Oh, I Oop. like this one, the biggest one. Sir. Please don't make a mess, sir.